Hey, people, please listen to me today. You know, uh, listen to every word I have to say in this video because it's important. I try to save these uh, lectures and stuff for the people that challenge me, but it's important that y'all hear them now. You know, obviously they ain't coming to, to, to debate or challenge me in the least because they fear me. But since, with that being said, I'll get into the topic. Today I have a mighty important lesson for you to consider. So pay close attention to every word I say and strap in tight. We're going on a hell of a ride now. All right. And basically, if you believe in falsehood after this today, then burn in hell with those lies. All right. You stay where you at because you can't deal with Raptor News unless you can deal with the truth. You know, and let's dig into this truth. Get ready to jump in, man. Y'all going swimming. Zechariah 14, number 4. In that day, his feet, and what we're doing right here is, is we establishing the power of God. You know, and if God was on earth, what would happen? And so these verses are saying what would happen if God got close to earth or, or was on earth. Zechariah 14, 4. In that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives. Which, in, which is in front of Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives will be split when his feet stand on it in its middle from east to west by a very large valley so that half of the mountain will move will move towards the north and the other half towards the south so a pole shift will happen if God's feet just touch the mountains right or stand on them Ezekiel 38 20 the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the beasts of the field. Every creature that crawl upon the earth and all of mankind on the face of the earth will tremble at his presence. You know, they will tremble at his presence. So we're establishing the power of God if he was to come near the earth. The mountains will be thrown down, the cliffs will collapse, and every wall will fall to the ground. If God came near to the earth, everything standing will fall in God's presence because everything must bow. The walls, the birds, everything coming out of the air, planes, nothing is going to be flying around or moving. Micah uh, 1, number 4. The mountains will melt beneath him, crumble, and the valleys will split apart like wax before the fire like scalding cascading down a slope like water cascading down a slope Habakkuk 3 number 6 he stood and measured the earth he looked and startled the nations the ancient mountains were scattered the perpetual hills bowed and his ways are everlasting so that means God don't change like in Malachi 3 6 and his ways are everlasting you know and this is uh, Habakkuk 3 6 meaning that God don't he's everlasting he don't change his covenants don't change right his words don't change right and so uh, if God ever came upon the earth the earth would fall to pieces this is what we're reading here and now Moses what happens if, if you and if God called you to be in his presence not that you can look. He told Moses he couldn't look upon him. You know. And so he says in Exodus 34, 27. And the Lord said unto Moses. Write thou these words. For after the tenor of these words. I have made a covenant with you. And with Israel. And he was there with the Lord. Forty days and forty nights. He didn't eat bread or drink water. For forty days and forty nights. We know a man will die after three days of not drinking water you know three days of not drinking water you will die but he was there 40 days and 40 nights without eating or drinking why because the presence of God was sustaining him you know and he wrote upon the tablets the words of the covenants the Ten Commandments and it came to pass when Moses came down from Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in Moses hands when he came down from the mount that Moses Wist not that the skin of his face shone. That means his face was glowing, shining. While he talked with him, and when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face was shining, 
and they were afraid to come close to him because when you was in the presence of God your face was shining when you was in the presence of God you were strong you didn't require food or drink in the presence of God you know and then watch this God was not in Moses like he, they say he was in Jesus as they claim he was in Jesus yet in the presence of God Moses had no need of food or drink you mean to tell me the presence of God sustained his it, it, it was sustaining his moral I mean his mortal body also just sitting in the presence of God Moses became began to glow and shine right and we already know the mountains crack and everything go ripped asunder when God is coming you mean to tell me God came manifest in the flesh and the earth didn't tremble and the mountains weren't ripped asunder he didn't he didn't glow and God is inside your body and, he, and you didn't glow and you still require food and substance and drink you still had to pray and God was in your body that did that make sense y'all know y'all retarded so my next question will leave all you brain dead Christians confounded the Bible clearly states Jesus was God manifest in the flesh but watch how silly this shit gets 1st Timothy 3:16, and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness when you lying God was manifest in the flesh says Paul of Tarsus God came in the flesh a mortal human body God did you know but no mountains or nothing moved and he ate and drank and he prayed but God was in his flesh it's making no sense John 1 18 no one has ever seen God but the one and only son it gets more ridiculous who is himself God the son is God in the flesh it's a mystery y'all it's a mystery Need a baker sung about that right John 14 9 Jesus said unto him have I been so long time with you and yet thou hast not known me Philip he that has seen me has seen the father if you've seen the monkey's anus you've seen mine and how sayest thou then show us the father why are you saying you why are you saying show us God when look at me I'm God that's what he's saying who is himself God that's what he's saying he God in the flesh that's what he's saying and watch why would he look to heaven and talk to a God if he himself is God in the flesh why John 17 1 Jesus spoke these things all these things and then lifted his head, eyes up to heaven and said father the hour has come wait a minute ain't you God in the flesh ain't you God is, have, if you see me you seen the father but watch this watch out it contradicts but no one has seen God but if you see me you seen God but no one has seen the father but if you see me you seen the father why are you saying show me the father you seen me didn't you then you saw God but I'm the son and the son is God himself sitting next to God ridiculous and retarded it's retarded he in the flesh but he talking to what God is he talking to in heaven Horus Set Seti Sutek you know <laughs> Bathsheba like what God is he talking to in heaven and he got here on earth silly shit ain't it this is why God said worship only God because y'all caught up in a bunch of silly ass shit okay keep going man I ain't done with you Luke 3 21 when all the people were baptized all the people all of Jerusalem came down and got baptized some weird shit man Jesus was baptized too but he got God need a bath huh God needs a bath some silly shit and as he was praying heaven was opened really he, he, heaven was open who opened it he down there being baptized and the Holy Spirit came and descended on him really the Holy Spirit came down and descended on Jesus in a bodily form like a dove a bird came down and descended on him and a voice came from heaven and said you are my beloved son wait a minute I thought he was God he a ventriloquist now 
I thought the son was God. Wait a minute. You are my beloved son in heaven. And then, what do you say? What do you say up here? But the one and only son who is himself God. He a ventriloquist, y'all. Y'all some silly motherfuckers. Y'all some silly motherfuckers. That's why y'all don't come, man. This is, it drives me crazy. I really want to choke all y'all for being dumb buying this fake God crap. It wasn't in the Old Testament. Quit, quit buying this crap. It's confusing as shit. And you know it. And then y'all silly motherfuckers try to make a sense of all of this damn fucking insanity. And it's insanity. It's insanity. God is in the flesh, but he planned to some mystery God up in, in, in the heavens. Calling him his son, but the son is the father and the Holy Spirit and the dove. Come on. God. I, question then. If Jesus is God manifesting flesh and God is walking on the earth, whose voice is coming out of heaven saying you are my beloved son when the son is the father? It ain't, and I ain't finished because it gets more kooky. They say the spirit came down in bodily form like a dove and also the spirit is the comforter and the Holy Spirit. 1 John 14, 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. The comforter is what? The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. The comforter is, you know, which is the Holy Spirit. He's going to teach us all things. John 16, 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I, not, I go not away, the comforter, comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Wait a minute. I thought he was here in, 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 in a dove form. Wait a he, he came in the, and descended on him in the, in the body of a dove. But he can only come if he go away. That's silly, man. That's what I said. Quit listening to these damn pagans that then infiltrated the Bible. And they know the pagans infiltrated. They know this is silly as hell. All these pastors and preachers. But they won't tell the people. And then I tell the people and everybody looking at me silly. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna even say what y'all say. Y'all be lying through y'all teeth. Matthew 3.11 I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I. Whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. But another one say lace up. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. How, how he baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire? You know, and it's supposed to be water that y'all in. Right. But he baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire. But the Holy Spirit can't come until he depart. Because it's the comforter. He will not come unto you until Jesus leaves. But he's here being baptized with. And he's descending on Jesus. And, and come on, man. It's falsehood. It's obviously... This is falsehood, and y'all know it. Y'all know it. And so I'm going to guide y'all, blind, deaf, and dumb motherfuckers, to the truth. If y'all want to hear it again, I'm going to say, get all that silly silliness, that shit of you worshiping Jesus Christ. It's silly. And that's why all these lies and, and deception, because it's silly. You should not be worshiping a man. Now I will confess the truth to all y'all mindless turds one more again. Not once again. One more again. Luke 4. Because if y'all silly, we might as well speak stupid English as well. Luke 4, 8. Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. That makes sense. Now we ain't worshiping turtle doves and all this other bullshit. We ain't worshiping gods that sons that sons as gods. That's talking to gods up in... in Get the fuck out of here, man. First Samuel, and then, you know, I, I said I wasn't gonna, cause I'm trying not to, people, man. But this is this is garbage. First Samuel 7:3, prepare your hearts for the Lord and serve Him only. And this is what the real Jesus said. All, all the people writing for Jesus, trying to make y'all. Uh, he, ain't, I ain't even saying he trying to make y'all be polytheists. Y'all have became polytheists, worshiping multiple gods, talking to various gods. You know, two gods and one talking to another god. Why another guy is descending. Come on, y'all polytheists and y'all pagans. And y'all say y'all not, but y'all are. It said, prepare your heart for the Lord and serve him only, and he will deliver you. Deuteronomy 6.13. That's why you don't need Jesus to deliver you. God is going to deliver you if you serve in God only. Jesus can't deliver. 
Fear the Lord your God, serve him, and take your oaths using only his name. Quit praying in Jesus' name. So I put it at the bottom. Stop worshiping that you know the Jesus. Stop worshiping the Jesus. The the Antichrist, the beast. Don't add him to God. He is not worthy to be God. No mountains crumbled when he was on this earth. Nothing ripped apart. You know, everything didn't bow and tremble in his presence. Nobody glowed. He didn't glow and he required food. And he prayed to God. And he said, my God and your God, my father and yours. He has a creator. And that creator is God. And stop praying in his name. He is just a man like me and you. And he prays to his Lord God, who is the creator of us all. And then we go to that silly ass Paul who's going to tell you the truth for once in his ridiculous life. Acts 2.22 Ye men of Israel, he went talking to the Gentiles. Hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you. He was just a man approved of God, y'all. He wasn't nothing. He wasn't even close to the power and the glory of the real true God of Israel where the mountains quake and everything shake at his presence you know and he come in clouds and fire he, he definitely ain't Jesus Jesus definitely ain't him which God did by Jesus in the midst of you as you yourselves also know and that's why he said Christ crucified is a stumbling block to you Jews what is you believing that Christ died on the cross for that is for the Gentiles. They're being deceived by God right in the Bible. Quit buying Gentile shits. Hebrews don't get baptized. That's stupid. We didn't get baptized. Isaac didn't get baptized. Moses, Jesus didn't even get baptized. Nobody got baptized. It's a lie by Gentiles who need to get baptized because they wasn't born with the Spirit of God on them. And they think if they get in the water and profess a Jesus is Lord then they'll get a new body and be reborn because they were beasts into humans and have a spirit on them and be saved some type of way it is for Gentiles it is not for Hebrews Christ crucified is a stumbling block go look it up for the Jews the Hebrews for black people it is for Gentiles and the Gentiles God said all of them was deceived he went out and deceived the Satan deceived the nations the Antichrist is right in the Bible right in the pages of the Bible and that's how so many people even elect get deceived this is Raptor News you heard the truth submit yourself to God and, 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 and quit worshiping a false idol God Christ the God of the nations are idols it, it, God told you all the gods of the nations are idols quit worshiping these idol gods leave your questions and comments you know in the comment section it's Raptor News